Hey, I'm back with another rambling video about Reflex. I uh, played a game against Sandbox recently in matchmaking, uh, which was uh, it was pretty close. So I thought it would make for uh, for good viewing. So let's hit play. And uh, yeah, so 1.2 win, right? I don't think I've ever looked forward to a uh, a game update so much. <laughs> I mean, previous reflex updates, that was just... If I hadn't jumped, I probably wouldn't... That bolt probably wouldn't have hit me, but those great grenades were nice. Um, yeah, like, I've looked forward to previous reflex updates, and of course it's it's release and everything before. But 1.2 is just so mysterious, because the devs are maintaining radio silence, and I have to say, I don't blame them at all. Um, I always found it amazing that they spent so much uh, time on Discord and in the forums. You know, I I've private messaged them a few times to like ask about things or whatever and they've replied and they always had a lot of time for the community, which is admirable. But it is tough. Um, not just like the players who perhaps don't understand the uh, the real world kind of side of games development and think that, you know, anything can be done and should be done, but just in general it must have been pretty exhausting for them. So, uh, anyway, it's just going to be interesting to see what 1.2, I mean, I personally think, and I'm hoping that it'll include some sort of maybe render optimization and just general polish, there'll probably be a lot of, like, final bug fixes. I think they'll probably, or hopefully, be putting in content to help new players, and I think they might go free to play, um, or possibly drop the price of the game. Um, free to play is kind of a what's the word? I can't think of the word. <laughs> what is it when people argue about something or can't decide it? I can't think of the word. But divided, I guess. People are divided on free-to-play. But I think, like, I think they've probably made as many sales as they're going to have from, like, the die-hard enthusiasts. You know, most people who love Arena FPS games will have tried it already. And they'll have made their decision, whatever. They'll have stayed, or they'll have gone, or they'll be playing something else, or they didn't like it, or they loved it, but they felt, you know, they couldn't get games at the times that they wanted to play. That kind of thing. I think all of those have probably bought and tried it. And I don't think... So that they have to appeal to new players. They have to make it easy for new players to get the game. And I think going free to play and relying on revenue from cosmetics and maybe they'll, like, I don't know, allow, like, in a TF2 kind of way, like map tokens. You know, you can support map makers by, you know, buying, like, a token of, of, to show your support. And give the uh, give back a bit of money to the map makers. There's that curated workshop idea that I know Yasashi, the artist, really wanted to do. It's uh, three and a half minutes in, and I'm four points down. And oh, you know. <laughs> I uh, I know like uh, Yasashi is the artist has spoken about that before, and it would be really cool. You know, people could make their own um, their own items, and. Uh, get a share of revenue and all that kind of stuff but um, I don't know I just think like why not you know yeah lots of people would probably try it because it's free that's how people work and like 10% of them might you know enjoy it and stay I mean I'm, I'm being like really like um, apathetic, you know, I think it's a great game and there's a lot of value to be had in it and I've had an absolute blast playing it and I've racked up like nearly 1500 hours in a year <laughs> um, it's almost as much time as I've played Team Fortress 2 uh, since Team Fortress 2 was released which is like 9 years or something um, yeah, hit them shots I'm losing my train of thought because uh, <laughs> I'm rambling I don't know. I, I suspect they'll get more revenue and profit from cosmetic sales and anything else that they can come up with than they will from uh, just 
you know, regular sales, even if they drop the price. Um, they need to make a big stink about it and publicize it as best they can. And going free to play, and it's like saying, hey, look, we've made this amazing game. And uh, there's a diehard community behind it. It runs really smoothly. You know, it's hard. You might not like it, but give it a go. And you can buy Jaguar heads and hog heads and kangaroo heads and Ronin armor and badass weapons and giant golden weapons and hammers. You can't actually buy the weapons. You earn those. <laughs> but I remember a UAE... UAE dude, early on when I started playing, bought me the golden Mjolnir hammer, which I still love. I prefer the sword because it's it takes up less screen space, so it's a bit easier to play with. But the hammer looks really cool. <laughs> so yeah, I suspect 1.2 might go free to play, or maybe just a sale to encourage trial. Uh, I don't know. But like. They said, they have stated, the devs have stated, I think, that they're not going to add any more features to the game. I think they're just going to polish up, you know, they've done what they've done. They've implemented as much as they can. And they're just going to polish it all up and, you know. There's all sorts of things that they could be doing, you know. But, I mean, I, I think it's safe to say that they probably run out of money. Um, and I... You know, they're probably working like... It, it was like a, a distance-based like team. They weren't like sharing a studio space or even like someone's home. I think they were spread out. All three of them, I think, live in different places in Australia. I'm not quite sure how far apart they are, but it's not like a physical studio, Turbo Pixel Studios, so just missed that grenade. <laughs> this is an interesting situation in the game, actually, where you've got 200 armor but barely any health. So, like, you know, a few burst gun shots would, would kill you. So I'm really cutting it fine. Fortunately, I've got the Mega, but... Yeah, all the armor in the world doesn't matter if you haven't got the health to back it up. But yeah, I mean, I, I fucking love this game. I think... I think Turbo Pixel have done such a good job with it. For a two-and-a-half-man team, because the artist is actually, I think, only work part-time. Um... You know, one dev, one like sort of technical artist. I think, I think Electro um, does some programming as well. Maybe like shaders or something. But, um, but shooter, you know, this engine, it's smooth. I mean, for one person, like it's not as optimized as it could be, arguably. But then, what game is? And yeah, like even before I updated, I had a 760 GTX 760. Uh, and I got, you know, an 144Hz monitor, and I always got a decent, like, 200 at least frames a second. Um, like, on, on low settings. I still play it on low now, just because it makes sort of visibility and stuff, but, you know, playing this replay of Black on Ultra, um, with no, like, uh, add-ons, uh, reducing quality of anything, and it looks fucking great. I mean, yeah, it's like... A, it's like a basic art style, but I think that was a design choice, and it's the kind of game where you're not looking at the scenery as you fly past at 700 UPS anyway, are you? So, it looks... I like the art style. You know, I think I think moving away from textures back in the day, before I started playing, I think that was a really wise decision, and it paid off, I think, for them. But it looks great with all the settings turned up, and the sparks, and it's smooth, you know... You get good frame rate, and a lot of a lot of engines don't have that. And the net code, the net code is amazing. You know, I can like if you're being super competitive, yeah, you're not going to play like across the Atlantic. It's a little bit too much. But like casually or even semi-competitive, I've played loads of games against people in America, like on New York servers, even Chicago servers, and it's playable. Like yeah, you notice it. You notice the ping difference. But it's it, it's playable, <laughs> really playable and smooth. Um, and like you know anything under like sort of sixty fifty milliseconds or so, you know the netco compensates up to eighty milliseconds. Um, and yeah, it's 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 smooth as silk, and it makes such a difference 
you know, and people playing Quake Champions right now, I played Quake Champions for a little bit, I was curious, I wanted to try it out, the Neko's got awful. Uh, maybe it's been improved a bit now, but from what I've heard, like, you know, hearing people talk in Discord and stuff, it hasn't. Oh yeah, here it is. Like five seconds to go, and I get the overtime, and then instantly... Uh, my monitor's just turned off, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> I hope that didn't affect the game. Um, the recording, even. I was on full screen, so didn't think that would happen. Anyway, yeah. Really close, got the overtime. Wasn't even aware at the time when I was playing. I was dimly aware of it, I knew I was fighting hard to catch up. Oh, the bolt. The bolt. I'm like, I'm two points up now, one and a half minutes to go, so I'm gonna try and, like, not take any silly risks. Just gotta keep the, uh, I realize I've pick up timers are turned off, but not to worry, I'll turn them on. So, yeah, I'm rambling, and there's, a uh, not long left now. But, yeah, it's a fucking great game, you should try it. I'm like, even before the update, you know, you've got two hours and two weeks, um, and you can still get a Steam refund, so, you know, why the hell wouldn't you? Better yet, like, buy it with a friend and just play play together, play some duels together, just have a laugh, trash talk each other on mic, uh, you know, try it. If you don't like it, get a refund, in all probability, you will like it. And the skill setting are so high, you know, if you want to put the time in, you can. And there are people playing, there's enough people playing to get games, you know, if you're playing EU evenings or I'm not sure what it's like in North America, I can't, I can't speak. I know EU is, is more active than NA, but certainly in the EU, you can get a game. Yes, the, the, the skill matchup might not be great, which is why it's really good to play with a friend, but try it. <laughs> Alright, shout out to Sandbox, thanks for the game again. Hot damn, that overtime. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at the time. I tend to lose track of time when I'm playing, so... <laughs> Alright, guys and girls. Got to be politically correct. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.